I saw a video where someone said, for the sake of your mental health, take mixed signals as a no. And that is the truth because too often we stay in situations trying to figure out what someone means, what someone feels, how, what someone wants to do, how someone wants to move with you. And one thing you should know is that if anything is chaotic, if anything is confusing, more than likely there's a little bit of negativity up in it. Because when you know your soulmate comes or when someone has good intentions for you, and think about it for yourself, when you really like someone, there's not a lot of confusion. One plus one equals two. But when you're playing games, when you really don't know how you feel, everything is all gray, right? Well, you got to look at that when someone is also dealing with you. If they are not 100% certain, if they're not locking it down, if they're giving you all these, you know, telling you we going to hang out, and then the day y'all supposed to hang out, he calling you, talking about, so what's up? You know what I mean? That's all chaos. That's all confusion. A man that's real about that day is going to call you on that Friday and say, what's up? 930, right? What's up? We going here, right? But the one that's playing games and don't know what he want to do, going to call you that day. And yeah, you know, what we say we was going to do, we still, you know, all of that. Uh-uh. Take them mixed signals as at the least as a sign that you ain't going to lock yourself down as a sign that you're not committing to him until the mixed signals are all very, very clear signals, red, yellow, or green, which one?